All right, welcome everybody. This is Ramo Termi, glad to have you with us this evening. Ella Krasinski is uh, pitching tonight for the Lady Manis. Three balls, one strike. There's one out. Brings up the number four batter. Catcher, number 26, Emma Jurisco. Strike. One ball, one strike. We have a runner at first. <laughs> and struck him out. Emma Jasko is coming up to bat. The swing and a miss. Strike one. We're all getting our sea legs here on remotes army as far as uh, getting things together in, in the uh, in the picture. The pitcher seems to be very good tonight. Elsh Krasinski, she is pitching for the Lady Manis. Here's the pitch. Foul back. Strike. Strike two. 0 oh and two the count. Runner at first. That's Jordan Class. Got very foggy about an hour ago. The mist really blew in over the Gulf of Mexico. All right, Ella's with the pitch. Low and inside, it was just the ball. One and two the count, two out. We're here on the campus of Venice High School. And this is the preseason uh, outings here. We have a doubleheader tonight and a doubleheader next week. And uh, this one uh, is featuring Lemon Bay. High ball, caught by Ella, and that retires the side. So at the end of one inning, we've got a score of nothing to nothing. This is Remote's Army.
Pitching tonight is Brianna Beck. First pitch, strike. <laughs> 0 1 to count. Lemma Bay at bat. Haley Goldsby. <laughs> Stepped right in there. Nice little pop off the left field. Getting underneath it. Caught. Out. Madison Kincaid now coming up. All right. On one to count. Here's the pitch. Nice tap. Foul ball off the left line. And there's lots of food up here. <laughs> Owen to the count. <laughs> the pitch. Foul ball out to the side. Madison Kincaid at the plate for the Lady Manas. She played shortstop. Here's the pitch. High, outside, ball. One and two the count. The pitch. <laughs> Struck her out. <laughs> Two out. <laughs> Ella Krasitsky now coming up. I'm not even trying the last name again, Ella. Yeah, I know that. Pitcher, nice tap, foul, it's gonna land right in front of us. Ella Krasetsky, she was, uh, she's been pitching since she's a freshman for Lemon Bay. Junior this year, doing very nicely. Oh, and one the count. A little bit of a consultation with the coach of Lemon Bay. Pitching Brianna Beck for the Port Charlotte Lady Pirates. Oh, and one the count. The bottom of the first inning. Glad to have you with us right here on Remotes, Army. Here's the pitch. Nice one, right to third base. Line drive, out. And that does retire the side. 
So we're going to change the sides. We're now going to be at the top of the second inning. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Glad to have you with us right here on Remotes Are Me. And uh, coming out. Brianna Beck is now coming out. Here's the pitch, low and outside. Strike. <laughs> oh, and one the count. <clears throat> the pitch by Ella. Nice pop. It's going to be foul. And it's out of play. It hit the fence. Oh, and two the count. Nice tap, goes foul, down the line. <laughs> Count still remains 0-2. It's the pitcher, Brianna, Brianna Beck for Port Charlotte. Sun actually came out. It was very foggy about an hour and a half ago. The mist just blew in on the uh, from the golf. Right to the second baseman, goes over to first, makes the tag out. Coming up now is going to be Gia Greaves. All right, Gia Greaves is in. Ball. Top of the second inning, one out. Ella Krasinski, foul all the way back, strike. One and one the count. <laughs> On deck is Emily Slater for the Lady Pirates. Here's the pitch. 
Right to Ella. Ella goes over to first. Out. Ella Krasetsky. Emily Slater now comes on in to the box. She's batting seventh on the lineup. Right to short, all the way, long throw to first, out, retires the side. Glad to have you with us and uh, glad to have uh, Montgomery's Carpet Plus Color Tiles helping to underwrite tonight's broadcast. Glad to have you with us on Remotes Army streaming around the world on, on YouTube. We're going to take a timeout. We'll be back. All right, coming up, Peyton Sullivan will be batting, and uh, Peyton uh, plays in position number four, which would be on your uh, second base. Ella Krasetsky still doing her warm-ups. Actually, that's Brianna Beck. In case you're wondering what that noise is behind us, it's the entire Venice softball team eating pizzas. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Brianna Beck pitching for the Lady Pirates. Here's the pitch. Beautiful pitch, but a ball. That one looked like it was there, but they did not call it. Bottom of the second, one and oh the count. Nothing, nothing. Glad to have you with us. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. One and one the count. On deck, Mackenzie Vaughn, who plays first base for the Lady Manas. Lemon Bay has been designated the home team tonight on this preseason tournament. Ah, nice one. It's going to drop, and it uh, did it drop? Uh, no. Yes, it did. She's got a single. Mackenzie Vaughn now in. Runner at first. Foul. Just foul down the line. 0 oh 1 the count. On deck will be Elizabeth Caviston. Here's the pitch. Checks up.
Two and one to count. Runner still is at first. Runner is Peyton Sullivan. Nobody out so far in this inning. At the, we're at the top of or the bottom, rather, of the second. Everybody's getting their sea legs as we're starting. We're adding a couple more things to Remote's Army. Glad to have you with us. Here's the pitch. High. Will it drop? Nope. Dead center. Runner checks up. Pop fly. Elizabeth Caviston now is coming in. She plays third base for the Lady Manus. Bailey Goff is now on deck. All right. Here's the pitch. High. It's going to be in the infield. Beck calls for it. Runner checks it first. Catcher, number one, Bailey Goff. Bailey Goff catches for the Lady Manas tonight. All right, here's the pitch. Ah, to the third baseman, could not quite handle it. Runners advance. All right, well, a little bit of confusion up here. I had to turn off the microphone because of, of all the confusion. Uh, Lemon Bay now is taking the field. All right. Hey, there we are. All right, glad to have you back. And uh, coming up for uh, Port Charlotte, I believe, is going to be Lex Vicker. We'll have to find out.
or like Steve McVicker. All right. Lexi McVigger coming in. And she'll be batting for the Lady Pirates. There we go. Got a little lower thirds graphic there. Here's the pitch by Ella. Out. Ball. On deck is Trey Taylor, I believe. Ooh, low ball. He does not like him. You guys don't care about him. He does not like anything inside. <laughs> we have a hair salon going on in here now. High. Ball three. Got to score nothing to nothing. This is preseason. So we've got a doubleheader tonight, and we have a doubleheader on Thursday, all here at Venice High School. It's the preseason classic. Uh, sponsored by Venice High School, right down the middle, strike. Three and one to count. Lexi McVicker. To count three and two. There's the pitch. And it goes right to the first base. It's out of bounds. Uh, it's actually foul ball, but uh, she caught it out of bounds. I'm thinking um, football and basketball. I got to get my sports going here, but uh, one out. And that's going to bring up Treya Taylor. All right. She plays right field for the Lady Pirates. On deck would be high ball. On deck would be Mackenzie Coslor at the top of the order. One and zero the count. Ooh, strike. One and one the count. One and two the count, that was a strike. Two and two the count. But no, your walk up sound is gonna be wow. Foul back. Still scoreless here at the preseason classic. There's the pitch. Strike. Struck her out. That's it. Ooh, a nice hit right to second base over to first, and that retires the side. And now it's a little bit more like you can understand your mind. It retires the side. It's going to bring up the bottom of the third. This is Remote Army. We'll be back.
All right, welcome back. And uh, Reese Davids is now coming in. And uh, Reese plays right field for the Lady Manas. Haley Goldsby, the center fielder, on deck. The pitch, Brianna Beck. High, ball one. That was close, wasn't it, guys? The guys are saying that's a top to bottom ball. Ooh, that one, you can see that one. Ties it one and one. It's kind of good to be back with all this COVID business. Ah, swing and a miss, strike two. All right, they have the official DJ now. Strike, struck her out. Comes back to the top of the lineup. Looks to the center fielder, number eight, Haley Goldsby. Haley Goldsby now is up for the uh, Lady Manas. Strike one. Oop, files back. Strike two. Yeah, well, we'll get you to that. That's going to be the next part. No, the oh, and two of the count. And we'll practice a little bit of that here in a minute. Right? No, no, no. No, yeah. No. Yeah. Right. So we're. All right. Ooh, right over the head of the third baseman. She digs in for first, and she wants to make the turn, and she thinks about it. She's halfway there, goes back to first. Nice little base hit there by Reese, I mean by Haley. Shortstop, number nine, Madison Kincaid. Madison Kincaid coming up now for the Lady Manas. One out, runner at first. So in between there, and you'll want to be ready for this, right? So when we get to like the second out, um, you'll want to know what song you're going to play. So Brianna Beck pitching for the Charlotte, uh, Port Charlotte. Foul way back into the parking lot. Lady Man is coached by Kim Pinkham. Does a good job as always. Coming up at the seven o'clock hour, the uh, the second game of our double header will be the Venice Lady Indians hosting the Riverview Rams. The Lady Rams, they're going to be in town. Okay, good. So we want the in between song. What is it, one and one? Yeah, so in between. Is nope, we'll have a little camera malfunction there. Two and one to count. You'll have to control the volume. Ah, base hit once again right over the third base, and that's going to put a runner at first and second. One out. The pitcher, batting third, number four, Ellen Brzezinski. Very good. I tried. All right, Ella Krasetsky now is up. Runners at first and second for the Lady Manas. Opportunity now, runner in scoring position. Goes right down the middle to the shortstop, little toss over, and misses. Runner stays. We've got bases loaded. Nice little base hit there. Coach Pinkham now. Peyton Sullivan now coming up. Yeah, we're gonna work on that. 
We'll work on that. Yeah, yeah, we'll work on that. Um, I think that, see, I think that, like, Costler is used to playing with gold and gold and gold takes a second. Like, that's a double play ball. Right? That's a, she should have taken and doubled it up herself. So, but that's, I can't call that E6. There we go. Here we go, one out. Pitch. It's going to be a ball. What's up, coach? Here we go, the pitch. High. It's going to be out of play, off to the right. One to one the count. Peyton, so. Whoa! Oh. Yeah, a little knee action there. Brianna Beck pitching. Peyton Sullivan at the plate. Bases are loaded for the Lady Manis. Beautiful hit right to the shortstop. And double play. Nope, nope. Called her safe. Mackenzie Vaughn now coming up for the Lady Manis. Lindsey Vaughn? Lind <laughs> well, yeah, they're all pulling them. They figured out the speed. Oh, Coach Steve, now he's got fancy duds for the opening day. I don't need that one. I don't think it was they saw. All right, the lights are on. Nice hit right down third base. A runner scores coming in from third. And the, the under runner comes in from second. Got her. Oh. And she's safe at third. Now runner at second and third. Two runs have scored in that. Absolutely fantastic. So um, let's see. Some runs for Lemon Bay. There we go. Two nothing. Number seven, Elizabeth Caviston. Elizabeth Caviston now. We've got two out. Right to third, drops it. Well, she makes it all the way over in time. And that's going to retire the side. We'll be back in about 90 seconds.
All right, we're now at the top of the fourth inning. Jordan Kloss is coming up for the Lady Pirates. Ella Krasetsky still pitching. Catching is uh, Bailey Goff. All right, let's see what we got going here. The ball. All right, here's Ella with the pitch. Strike. One and one the count. What? That was no pitch? Ella's in the circle trying to understand. Coach Pinkham's out there trying to understand. They're going to call it a ball. Fog is moving in over the intercoastal waterway, just and that's just behind the uh, fence back there. It's a ball. We'll do Saturday the twentieth. No, that's fine. You're good. All right, Jordan Kloss is still at the plate. Two balls, no strikes. Here we go. The p shows bunt. Nice bunt. Lays it right in there. And uh, she's going to take a base. She's going to second. And that's where she's going to hold up. That was a nice bunt by Jordan. You can even see the uh, you can even see the uh, the uh, fog rolling in over the intercoastal behind us here, rolling in right over the intercoastal waterway. To strike, zero and one to count. Runner at second base. Scores two nothing. Lemon Bay on top over Port Charlotte. Here's the pitch by Ella. High goes out to center field. Going back. And that's Goldsby gets it. Tags up to the runner. It's the first out of the inning. And that's going to bring up Emma Jurisco. Emma Jurisco, number 26. Oh, it's a high. Goes out to Goldsby. Tags it. Nice fly. Brianna Beck, the pitcher, now coming up. Pitcher number 15, Brianna Beck. We've got two out. Boy, you can see right here on the camera, you can see that that fog is just moving in. Here's the pitch. High. It's going out to right field. Second baseman comes on over, grabs it, fly out. That retires the side. And uh, coming up will be... I think it's going to be Elizabeth Caviston was last up. Bailey Goff. Am I correct on that, guys?
All right, we're ready to get going here. We're at the bottom of the uh, fourth inning. Scores 2 nothing. Lemon Bay uh, got two runs on that uh, third inning, the bottom. And it brings up Bailey Goff, the catcher for the Lemon Bay Lady Manas. This is the first of our doubleheader this evening. Lem uh, Venice will be playing Riverview Rams on the, uh, on the nightcap. That's going to be a 7 o'clock start, anticipated 7 o'clock start. And uh, so we'll have to see what happens here. Here we go. Brianna Beck is uh, pitching for the Lady Pirates. Bailey Goff plays uh, catcher. Here we go. Here's the pitch. It's inside, ball. Yes, it was a ball. Everybody helps out everybody here in the press box. <laughs> Here we go. Thanks, Coach. What's that, sir? Good choice. All right. Oh, hey, Coach. 2-0 to the count. Hold on one second, Coach. I need you to go down and collect the check. Here we go. Uh, foul back. Strike. 2-1 to the count. Boy, you can see that fog moving in, can't you? And there's a cool breeze coming with it. Very uncharacteristic Florida. I mean, the cool breeze part of it. Coming right off the or the Gulf of Mexico, which is behind us, and the Intercoastal, which is in front of us. That's high and outside. Another ball. Three and one the count. Coming up on deck will be Kendall Bennett. High, goes off the, right into the batter's uh, cages, off to the left-hand side. Going to be another uh, strike there, fouled back. Three and two. Beautiful facility here at Venice High School. Absolutely one of the finest that you're going to see in any high school venue in the area. It's absolutely outstanding, just like in basketball, volleyball. It's outstanding. All right, here we go. The pitch. Ooh. It's going to be... Uh, I thought that was ball four. She yes, has take up the base. The number eight hitter. All right. Number six, Kendall Bennett. Kendall Bennett is now coming up for the Lady Manas. Hi. Takes a ball. And that must be the dinner bell. I don't know what that is. Now, as Coach Pinkham, you see her walking down the third base line to the being, she's the third base coach tonight. Coach Sean Strickland, he's at the first base line. Brianna Beck pitching for the Lady Pirates. Here's the pitch. Got a little bit of a tag, but fouls it down the third base line. One and one. All right, here's the pitch. Oh, that was a lazy swing. She knew it the minute she swung it. It should not have been happening. One and two the count. Lemon Bay uh, is enjoying a two-run lead. Brianna Beck's in the circle tonight, pitching for the Lady Pirates. Here's the pitch. That ball was high. Two and two, the count. Oh, what a great night, Mr. Freaking. Oh, the wind stick is dead. Flag is gone. 
Fouled off the left. Keeps the drive, uh, keeps the, the, uh, the bats alive here. Coming up is Reese Davids. Oh, has a nice little swing on there. Tried to lead it, but uh, just another pitch. Two and two the count. Kendall Bennett plays left field. Reese Davis coming up plays right field. Nobody out. Runner on first. Here we go. High. Ball three. Full count. With the runner at first. This will be the payoff pitch coming up. Are you tracking pitches over there? Yeah. Th it, I, uh, on this one, I have 43. Yeah, I didn't know what the this is. Oh, up, goes right down to third baseline. Goes to second. Gets the runner there. High ball does not get the runner at first, so is player's choice. Right fielder, number three, Reese Davids. Reese Davids now coming up. Here's the pitch. Ooh, that looked way too good to just let it sit there, but she hit, she laid back. I totally agree with you on that one. <laughs> you would have slugged it out of here. All right, here we go. Try it again. Ooh, try it. Oh, right through there. Runner advances to second, heading off to third base. We'll tag up. We got runners at the corners now. That was a nice ball. Haley Goldsby coming up. All right. Haley's now chomping at the bit. Goes down the left line for a foul. One out. Runners at first and third on the bookends. Coming up is Madison Kincaid. She's on deck. That's high and outs. Oh, a, that just caught that corner. That did not look like a strike. All right, let's see if he's consistent on his calls. Nice tag going out to the gap between right and center and picks it up. The runners... That's it. Top of the fifth inning. We've got a score of 2-0. We'll be back.
All right. Gia Greaves is now coming up for the Lady Pirates, and uh, Gia plays first base. Here we go. Here's the pitch. Ooh, in the dirt ball. And as the fall grows in, the lights are becoming more important on the field. We're on the campus of Venice High School, the home of the Indians. Lady Indians are going to be playing at 7 against the Lady Rams of Riverview. There it is, right to the second baseman, on over to first, and tags out. Emily Slater now coming up for the Lady Pirates. Oop. And she no sooner got there and boom, tagged it. Just like that, gone. All right, Lexi McVicker coming up. The pitch into the dirt. Kenzie Vaughn pitching for Lemon Bay. Foul back into the batting cages for the guys. Actually, it's the pitching uh, cages over there. One and two to count. All right. I have one and two that count, guys. Is that what you have? I have uh, two balls and one strike, yeah. Is Jason downstairs? Is that another ball? The umpire keeps it in his in his Here we go. Strike. That's it. Struck her out. Retires the side. We'll be back. Montgomery's Carpet Plus of Venice supports the live streaming broadcast of Remotes Army and the efforts of local high school sports in the area, including Venice and Lemon Bay. Montgomery's Carpet Plus is located at 825 East Venice Avenue in Venice and can also be found on Facebook.
All right, Madison Kincaid now up for the Lady Manas. Lembe Manta Rays, they're enjoying a 2-0 lead over the Lady Pirates of Port Charlotte. Here we go, the pitch. Whoa, right down the third base line. And that was aimed right for Coach Steve of Venice. Yeah. And you're at number nine. <clears throat> Ball, strike one. Better nine. Better nine, strike one. And that's the dinner bell once again. Brianna Beck, pitching, goes right to Beck, over to first, out. Bring up the number three He's going to have 12 names by the end of the night. <laughs> Krasetsky. LK and be done with it. All right. Her bat's in there. <laughs> Here's the pitch. Way outside. <clears throat> oh, you look to the far left to the uh, soccer fields, and oh, my goodness, the fog is rolling in. Nice tag over there to the batting cages. One-on-one yeah. um, we'll, we'll on one the count. Um, like right now, you would be queuing up. If this was, if Tatum and Rath was at that, you would have played Bumpy Town, and you'd be having milkshake queue. But, well, actually, you would, yeah, during the at-bat. So we'd be waiting for Here's the pitch. High, all the way into the parking lot. Foul ball. One and two the count. One out. Bottom of the fifth. New scoreboard. We got Jeff, the voice of the Venice Park, right here. Oop, that's high. Two and two the count. We've got a really good crowd here tonight. Ah, right between the gap of and the shortstop tries to pick it up, but runner does go to first and he is safe. Peyton Sullivan coming up. Here's the pitch. Strike. Ella's holding at first. How are we doing on that other piece? Still one out. Man is up, two nothing. They scored in the bottom of the third inning. Here's the pitch. Okay, I'll come down in between matches. I think we'll have a small break. Is Dustin good? On deck is going to be Mackenzie Vaughn. Right to second base and just gets it in time for the... I did not see a double play. I saw one at second out. But the one at first is safe. Nice defensive play. Brings the number five hitter to our yacht. Mac Vaughn. Number 11. Number 
Mackenzie Vaughn now is batting. Foul ball down the third baseline. Runner still is at first. Reminder, there's a double header, and so the Venice Indians will be hosting the Riverview Rams. The ball was just inside, a little bit high, but still is a strike. 0 and 2 the count. <laughs> Elizabeth Caviston is on deck. She plays third base for the Indians. I mean, yeah, for the Manta Rays, rather. Down the line, another strike, foul ball. Lady Manas, they're the home team tonight. They're playing on the campus of Venice High School. This is the preseason classic here at Venice. They do it every year. Two nights of doubleheaders. Ooh, that was high. Ball. And they do this traditionally in the second week of February. They have Tuesday and Thursday have doubleheaders both nights. Lemon Bay has the first game and Venice has the second game and they have different opponents. One and two the count. The pitch. High. Ties it up two and two. Runner at first. Two out. And fog in the intercoastal. And the fog is quite heavy. This morning, zero visibility in the Venice area. Venice, zero visibility. High, goes out to center field, takes her back, catches it, retires the side. It's going to bring up the top of the sixth inning, and we've got a score of 2 nothing. Favor of the Lady Manas. We'll be back. Montgomery's Carpet Plus of Venice supports the live streaming broadcast of Remotes Army and the efforts of local high school sports in the area, including Venice and Lemon Bay. Montgomery's Carpet Plus is located at 825 East Venice Avenue in Venice and can also be found on Facebook. This is our uh, this is our first of uh, our coverage this year on Remotes Army for baseball and softball. This is our third season broadcasting uh, baseball and softball, and uh, we've got about 30 games planned for you. 15 with Lemon Bay girls, 10 all the home games of the Venice girls, and about a half a dozen of uh, the Lemon Bay boys, and. Uh, we think we found a Kaylee Roper hanging around the press box. She's a D1 commit, doing the, not only a D1 commit, D1 signed to Michigan State. And there's a couple other D1s uh, on the uh, Venice squad this year. They did quite well last year, then COVID hit. And Kim Pinkham's team, the Lemon Bay Manta Rays, they did quite well as well. So many of these teams are looking to have a full season, just like we were talking about with volleyball and basketball. If you can just complete your season and get a full season, that's the accomplishment now. And uh, these girls, they were cut short. All the baseball and softball games here in Southwest Florida and probably most of the country, they were cut short due to COVID. So this year, just to get through the main season is uh, is the majority of what they want to accomplish. Jordan Moran coming in and substituting for Trey Taylor. Oh, wrong one.
Runners advancing the second, safe. He called it a strike. Dustin, what's happening? Yeah, I'll be down uh, in between matches to go through uh, the current status. Right. I see you went hardwire. We still don't have enough. <coughs> We're not pushing enough. Uh... Well, that hardwire. All right, here we go. Here's the pitch. High, but it's strike nonetheless. Oh and two the count. No, that hard one ended up. Top of the sixth inning, two nothing. Man is over the the Pirates. Here's the pitch. High going out to left between left and third. The third baseman says, I've got it, holds the runner at second, one out. Pop fly to third base. Jordan Kloss into the backstop. Runner does advance. All right, you can see the runner at third. Shows bunt. Would be a strike. One and one the count. One out. Two nothing, Lemon Bay. Runner at third. The pitch. Strike. Hit the hit the corner there. The pitch shows Bund again. Strike. Two out, runner at third. The three batter, Sarah Turb. Sarah Turl. Strike. Did you notice that they expanded too? You drive a Mack truck through there. Oh, and one to count. Nope. Oh. Two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. And that retires the side. That's it. So we're going to go to the uh, bottom of the sixth inning. 2 nothing. Lemon Bay will be back. Montgomery's Carpet Plus of Venice supports the live streaming broadcast of Remotes Army and the efforts of local high school sports in the area, including Venice and Lemon Bay. Montgomery's Carpet Plus is located at 825 East Venice Avenue in Venice and can also be found on Facebook.
Elizabeth Caviston coming up to the plate for the uh, Lady Manis. She plays, she plays third base for the Lady Manis. All right, glad to have you with us. And uh, the Intercoastal, boy, that is like milk soup out there in the uh, Intercoastal. Yeah, no numbers on these jerseys. Here we go, the pitch. Hi. Oh, I thought he was going to be a strike. <laughs> All right, hey, one and know the count. Nope, oh, that one's a strike. One and one to count. Oh, you're buying food? Okay. Chick fil A's. Yeah, I you need a book? Oh, strike. One and two the count. Score two nothing in favor of the Lady Manas. Two and two the count. I got two and two at the house. I didn't pick much. Yep. Coming up is going to be Bailey Goff. Here we go. High fly strike. I mean, it's going to be a foul ball, but it's counted against it. I've got about 68 pitches here for Beck. It's up there. Here's the pitch, Brianna Beck. Ooh, right over the uh, the third base, advances the first. Nice base hit there. Ah, then she's going to advance. Then she's going to go again, the third. All right, she's going to hold at third, and coming up, you got it, Bailey Goff. And they're going to have a conference on the mound in the circle. All right. <clears throat> All right, there's Bailey Goff stepping into the box. Scores 2 nothing. Nobody out. Bottom of the sixth. Runner at third. Very much in scoring position. Here we go. The pitch. Down the line. Foul. Coach Pinkham one-handed it. Here we go, the pitch. Foul. Over to the batting area of the, of the Lady Indians. 0-2 the count. On deck, Kendall Bennett. Pitch. She whacked that one, but it went nowhere. All right, here we go with the pitch. 
Who hits it? Will it be caught? No, it drops. It was in foul territory. She uh, she lives to bat another day. Third base should be uh, Emily Slater. Here's the pitch. Goes down the line. It's going to be foul. Caught. Out. Runner will advance after tagging. Safe. Kendall Bennett coming up for the uh, Lady Manas. Here's the pitch. Oh, I thought that was going to be a strike. I don't know his zone anymore. That one you could, I don't know. Here we go. Tipped it. That's a strike. One and one the count. Here's the pitch. High fly ball called by the third baseman. Gets it. Her glove is unusually slanted, so that could fall out any time. But it's going to bring up two outs. So coming up after Kendall Bennett, Reese Davids. Strike. That one's a strike. We all saw that. This is the new game show. Can you name that pitch? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and this is the first game of the season. <laughs> well, this guy's not a normal guy. He's not going to be somebody we see regularly. <laughs> Don't bet on it. No. Uh-oh. We have a substitution maybe? Yes. Foul ball back. One and two of the count. Coming up will be Haley Goldsby. Here's the pitch. Oh, she swung at that one. Ill-advised. That's the inning. Uh, that's three out. Everybody's just looking at each other. I think that's three out. Thank you, Coach. That was the most bizarre thing. I mean, they're standing out there like they don't know what's. I I never saw that before. Top of the seventh inning. This is Remotes Army. Montgomery's Carpet Plus of Venice supports the live streaming broadcast of Remotes Army and the efforts of local high school sports in the area, including Venice and Lemon Bay. Montgomery's Carpet Plus is located at 825 East Venice Avenue in Venice and can also be found on Facebook.
All right, we're expecting Emma Jerisco to come and bat for us tonight. What? Yeah, we, we'll beg forgiveness. And if we can find a number on her jersey. And it is Emma Jerisco. Boom. And uh, I think that's still Vaughn out there pitching. Yeah, it is. All right. Jerisco will be uh, batting for the Lady Pirates. They're down 3 nothing, top of the seventh inning. Just a reminder, it'll probably be a little bit late, but at 7 o'clock was supposed to be the, uh, the nightcap of this doubleheader. And uh, Venice will be hosting the Riverview Rams. On deck will be Brianna Beck, the pitcher. Here's the pitch. Oh, right between underneath, and uh, she will go to first. Nice little base hit there. Pitcher, number 15, Brianna Back. Here's the pitch. It's high, ball. Here we go. The pitch. Thought about it. Ball two. <clears throat> Here we go. The pitch. Low and in the dirt. Runner will try to advance to second on the steal and gets it. Yes. On deck could be Gia Greaves. The pitch. Strike. It was interesting. Now that should have been a strike based on the last pitch. Yeah. But that's a ball. She takes a base. First baseman, number five, Gia Greaves. No out. All the way to the first, late. So she will be safe. Bases are now loaded. Bases loaded brings up the seven hitter. Nope, we have a change here. Still the seven hitter, but it's number 24. Gianna Maya. All right, Gianna Maeta coming in. Is that the name you've got, Gianna <laughs> Moretta? I can't. Is it Moretta or Maeta? Swing. Thank you. It's two strikes. Base is loaded. Here's the pitch. Foul ball. Oh, the health. 
Yes. Um, did you talk to Dalton? Do you, did we did ever did we get any checks today or stuff? Talk to Mark then. I told him you were gonna give him a check. Just tell him it's we're switching bank accounts and we didn't get the check. We'll get it. Here we go. Thursday. The Thank pitch. You. Got her. Strike out. Called strike. Another substitution for Port Charlotte. Number three, McKenzie. Carlson. Mackenzie Carlson up the bat now for the Lady Pirates. Bases loaded. Lemon Bay up 3 0. This is the top of the seventh inning. One out. The pitch. Bunt goes foul. All right. Two strikes. One out. Bases loaded. Here we go, the pitch. Low, ball. One and two the count. Now on deck, we don't know who's coming up. And we've got a count of two and two. Bases loaded, one out, the pitch. Outside, three and two, full count, payoff pitch. Something's going to be happening here. Third baseman came in and says, we want a timeout. They're all heading to the circle. They're saying on the way home. Jeff is plotting with his music man for what's going to happen in regular season. This is the first of all of our games. Strike. That's it. Two out. Here's up number 21, Jordan Moran. This is the first of our 30 games. And then we've got a, thir a total of 30 games, and we're going to knock off two tonight and two on Thursday. Then we go, oh, strike. Then we get to the regular season next week. All right, bases loaded, two out, one strike. Jordan Moran now. Strike again. Two strikes. The 7 o'clock game will be starting a little bit later than what we thought. Maybe around 7.20. Oh, swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. The final. Final score tonight for the Lemon Bay Manas, three, Port Charlotte. That's not Riverview. That's been Port Charlotte. Okay. We'll be back. 